Robert Moffat he was a Scottish congregationalist missionary to Africa and a father of Mary Moffat Livingston and father-in-law of David Livingston his mother asks a favor from Robert he asks what is it mother his mother says first that you will do whatever i am now going to ask and i will tell you yes mother i know you do but i don't like to make promises which i may not be able to fulfill the mother heavily heart with tears says i leave our dear ones in the hands of god robert looked at his mother and asked what is it mother I only ask you to read the Bible regularly morning and evening Robert says you know I already read the Bible mother says but not regularly she says my son read the Bible much in the new testament then you cannot go astray if you pray the lord himself will teach you Robert says yes mother i will certainly do as you desire after that he moved from that place and his mother left him with tears robert accepted jesus christ as his savior and he said in a world of sin and how gracious to me to die for me what i have done to show my gratitude simply nothing but i wait i shall soon be in a position of honor and trust he heard moravian missionaries stories in greenland but read by his mother he got a great desire to serve as a missionary in africa when robert moffat met mary smith they thought they will marry each other but for her parents it's very hard to send her daughter to africa then robert said i give myself to christ i gave all of myself i go to africa rely upon his help and he will open my path in the desert shall rule my love to i mean many only in the lord let us leave it to his decision and whatever happens will be for the best after Three years, Mary Smith, the parents altered their minds and without being influenced by any human being, they were ready to give their beautiful daughter to Robert Moffat. Probably, they would never see her again, but they rejoiced in God to send her daughter to a very rude tribe, Africa. Robert Moffat traveled so much and reached African villages on Jan 26, 1818. He stayed 12 months. He lived alone in one of the native huts. It's really hard place to live. When he get depressed, he used to sing his mother favorite hymn. Robert used to share gospel to the tribe after 12 months when he returned from that place. They thought it's Moffat. the ghost do not come near me i know africans that would kill you he said i am not dead feel my hand robert and mary bought home a boy and a girl from bushman who were intending to bury with their dead mother and mary bought home a baby that had been buried alive by its mother after doing a lot of hard work and after a lot of years and then people started to change first they changed their heart changed their dirty naked savage into cleanly becoming well dressed believer robert moffat translated the gospel of luke in shavana and he translated the whole bible into bechanos they had 10 children and his daughter mary david livingston and his two infant children died in that place on 28th march 1870 robert moffat preached for the last time in kuruman church with tears coming back to england mary moffat gave farewell to her son whom they were leaving behind they left the place with a weeping crowd july 28th 
eighteen seventy, after four months, they arrived in England. Mary Moffat will become unwell, and she dies. After that, also God used him powerfully, and he was presented with a Doctor of Divinity degree by Queen Victoria from Edinburgh University. Robert Moffat died at Lynn near Tur Bridge Wells on ninth August eighteen eighty three. Thank you.